E1. Welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for November 28th, 2022. The character of the Watcher and the modifier star Chimera, you're starting to get a fusion of all characters. So in the future, the map contains only one path, and deadly events, question mark rooms can now contain elites, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. I see Vorpalio with 1282, really good score, tied with 4th through 6th place, um, and then Monkey Bone with 1256, also pretty good scores. I'll review them tomorrow. Let's review the scores from yesterday. No familiar names in the top 20, uh, but I see Vorpal and Monkey Bone here tied with 15. 16, which is a great score. Um, I don't think anybody got curses, uh, which was the big question that I had yesterday. Uh, no, so uh, Vorpal uh, and Monkey Bone both were able to perfect everything. Um, Vorpal, interestingly, was able to get a membership card, although wasn't able to get enough relics to get the I Like Shiny modifier. Um, and then Monkey Bone uh, basically got a lot of uh, modifiers here and there, also went for the Highlander modifier, was able to get combo and overkill. I actually suspect Vorpal also was able to get combo and overkill. Overkill was easy. I think combo was the one that I struggled with. Um, so yeah, really good score, so congratulations. Um, David ended up in 30th with 1464. Uh, David actually went for collector bonuses, had three, but still wasn't able to get curses. Uh, if you remember yesterday, most people were able to get the two normality events. Um, and yeah, was able to perfect everything. Check out his Twitch run, um, both on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, and then load of paper towel with 1439. That's not bad either. Cobalt, 1422, George, 1420, and Steven and Pelts at 1418 and 16. Um, George actually was thinking maybe the last question mark room that um, George skipped uh, might have given him a curse, but no, I think I, I don't think anybody was able to get curses, so I don't think that was something that really was possible. Uh, Sita here with 1404, and then I end up in 80th place with 1389. I, at the very end, missed two very obvious modifiers, uh, Encyclopedian and the... Um, and the feed, uh, so 1429 would have been, or 39 really, would have been very possible, which would have put me in, in the top 40, but you know, that, that happens sometimes too. Um, and then uh, further down below at 12, um, at 1287, uh, I, I don't want to scroll through that way, we got Chef and a Cloud and Melazan tied, um, both missed one of the boss, Melazan got a very unlucky draw against the Awakened One with no way to defend, um, which, you know, happens one, once in a while. Uh, also, Melazan pointed out that the RNG was completely different starting in Act 2, uh, for example, wasn't able to get the Mind Bloom event getting a lot of gold, at least wasn't able to get the Mind Bloom event on the first part of Act 3, which means that, um, you know, uh, if you get in the second part, you don't get two curses offered, you only get one curse offered, and you don't get a lot of gold, you just get the option to heal. So that, I think, really set them back, and then in general, just different RNG all over the place. Um, also took Omori, which made going for curses impossible anyway, but in retrospect, that was probably a good good idea. All right, anyway, so yesterday was a fun run. Oh, and then before I continue, I did want to scroll down to uh, the 24th. Uh, we have a new commenter who... Um, who, you know, he, he commented that uh, they played, yeah, high octane dopamine at 15.11. Pretty good score, I just want to point out. And then Equi here, 14.86 as well. Wanted to point that out um, just so that it doesn't get forgotten. All right, let's move on to today's run. So Chimera, Certain Future, and Deadly Events. Just to review the Certain Future deck, we got one Bash, Survivor, Zap, and Eruption, and then three Strike, and three Defense. And then with the Certain Future path, there's going to be three Question Mark Rooms, one Shop, and I think three Rest Sites always, right? No, no, two rest sites, right. And then one elite. Uh, although one guaranteed elite, I hope to get a few more from the Deadly Events modifier. All right, let's start with... Yeah, let's start with Bash and Survivor. Um, I guess, you know what? Let me do Miracle Strike. That way, next turn, I just need to get one single strike to kill both. All right. Yeah, I don't have to hog the Miracle if I don't need it. Flurry of Blows, Pressure Points, Empty Mind. Let me take something like Flurry of Blows that might help. Empty Mind would have been good too. Actually, right now I don't have a way to exit Wrath, right? So something like Flurry of Blows might be a good idea. Let's get rid of the Zap and do Double Strike. Mm -hmm. Although actually, entering Wrath here doesn't make sense because I won't be able to kill, right? 16 plus 9 is 25. Yeah, I won't have enough. So let's just double defend and then play a Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 11 incoming. Uh, let me just fully defend here. And I'll do a Zap. And 21 seems doable, especially if I do Eruption here. Good. All right, got a Duplication Potion, which is nice. Crescendo Protector Sash Whip. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian, uh, not Guardian, the Hexaghost. So Sash Whip is not a bad idea to apply some weakness. The others, all of those three were pretty good, actually. Remove a card. Yeah, sure. For HP, I'll remove... 
You know what? Let me rip a basic strike because I should be able to pick up more attack cards to counteract that loss. All right, Cultist here. I think it's fine to do Eruption. I'll do Miracle because I'm supposed to draw two more Strike. No, one more Strike on next turn. Ooh, that might have been a problem. No, uh, this is one. That, uh, it was enough, though. Got Fruit Juice, Swivel, Flurry, Bliss, Follow Up. It might be difficult to go for Collector Bonuses, but there's no reason not to. So let's take a second Flurry, a flurry of Blows. Sure. All right, Early Shop. I can't afford any of the Relics, unfortunately. So I guess I'll focus on cards. Bowling Bash is good. Just Lucky is good. Third Eye is good. Yeah, but all of those are good. Still need a way to exit Rathom. All right, Slaver. Let's start with just Lucky. Defend is fine. Sash Whip to weaken. I can do Bowling Mash and Defend. Okay. Eat incoming. Should I do Eruption? I'll take a lot of damage that way. Oh boy, I have 15. I'll get attacked by 16. Yeah, fine. Let's do Eruption. And then I'll do Survivor and Third Eye. Um, and then, yeah, next turn I do want to deal damage, so let's get rid of the zap. Okay. Alright, I'm taking one damage there, but I should be able to kill here. Got an energy potion. Yeah, I think I need a way to exit Wrath here, so let's take the empty body. Okay, so here I got the Gremlin knob. Ideally, I would enter a Wrath here. I can't. Let's do Miracle now. Um, trying to think if I should double play the Bash. Would that be enough? I don't have a guaranteed elite coming up anyway. I am contem contemplating of double playing the, the bash. Let's do it. Let's duplicate the bash. Okay. And then I'll do double strike. And I deal 45 damage next turn. Theoretically possible. Practically, not really. Actually, if I double defend, this might be enough. So if I do empty body and third eye. Yeah. And then I have eruption. And I just need more damage next turn. Okay. Let's give it a try. And the enemy is vulnerable, just good too. Okay, I can do Flurry of Blows, Eruption, and that is enough to kill. Alright, that Duplication Potion was, I think, necessary. Got Dead Ranch. When you exhaust the card, add a random card into your hand. Very nice. Shendo Inner Peace Prostrate. Since I actually don't have a way to enter Calm, I am thinking of taking Inner Peace here. Let's do that. Okay. And then I think I should upgrade the Sash Whip. The extra turn of weakness might help me if I draw it on the first turn against the Hexaghost. Anchor, Sarge so Calm with 10 block. Very useful. And then the Acid Slime, not getting attacked on this turn. That's good. Okay. Although I'll be weakened next turn. All right, still not getting attacked. Okay, Eruption next turn is great. It'll split at 33, right? So I can do a Sash Whip and I can do a Strike. That brings me down to 36 or brings the Acid Slime down, down to 36. And here I can do Eruption, Flurry of Blows, Bowling Bash or Regular Bash. No, let's do Bowling Bash. I guess I don't have any good AoE cards other than the... Um, wait, hang on. Let me do Just Lucky. That doesn't kill. Uh, actually, Strike is good. And then Zap. All right. It, that did kill something. Yeah, Bowling Bash is a type of AoE card, but it's not ideal. Ideally, I would get something else. Okay. I, didn't, I got my Duplication Potion back, which is good. Empty Body, Halter, Windmill Strike. Uh, let's take a second Empty Body, sure. I should also sort my deck A to Z right away. All right, uh, heal or remove. I actually don't think I need to do either. So let's just leave. Okay. And then I should start to lose HP here, so I'm going to try to avoid to defend. Although, great, I start off with a bunch of block cards. Let's do Inner Peace and Sash Whip. Okay. And then, yeah, here I won't defend. Let's do Bash, Flurry of Blows, and Bowling Bash. Mm -hmm. And then Strike, just lucky. I'll take the 7 damage, and the next turn I can kill. Yeah, 40 is good. I, I still have a few fights that I can... Well, I have one more guaranteed fight to lose more HP. Third Eye, Flying Sleeve. So let's take another Third Eye. Okay. And then, yeah. So here, actually, I have one more fight. So I, again, I'm not going to worry too much about HP. Actually, yeah, let me enter Wrath. That makes my life easier. This will be 28, right? So I can do Eruption, Bowling Bash, and then another Flurry of Blows. Okay. Another 14. Just lucky gives me an empty body. Do I want to take 12 damage? You know what? Why not? Okay, let me do this. That way I don't I do have a little bit of a buffer. 19, yeah, that's good. I can do strike. Okay, I have to do empty body because I don't want to lose that much more HP. Actually, I can oh I cannot kill here. Oh, that's fine. I should be able to kill next turn. Okay. 
All right, uh, just lucky flying sleeves pressure point. Let's take a second, just lucky. And then here, all right, I'm already at 19. Do I need to drop down even further? Not really, right? Um, let's do, uh, hang on, bash doesn't kill anybody, right? Uh, let's just do bash strike and I'll play the miracle to play another strike. Come, okay. I got one mil striker from the dead ranch. That's actually pretty nice. Hmm. So here I can kill anyone with the bowling bash. Let's kill you. And then I think the flurry of blows kill you and then windmill strike kills you. Good. Okay, prostrate serving fury wallop is really good. Let's definitely take that. And then I might even consider upgrading that. Or should I no, let me upgrade the eruption first. Yeah. Well, no, it, it is it is a good card to upgrade. I, I was gonna say I don't have a lot of ways to exit Wrath, but um I do have some at this point. Yeah, so here entering Wrath is a little dangerous. But I think I'll risk it. I have plenty of ways to exit it. So let's do Flurry of Blows Eruption. Flurry of Blows again. I'll do Bowling Bash and I'll, I will do Third Eye to curate my hand. I'll keep the Just Lucky. Okay. Alright, so 24 incoming. I did get Sash Whip there. That's good. I don't have a way to exit Wrath though. That's not good. Um, Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that is very bad. Oh boy, let me see what this gives me. Uh, Ragnarok. I mean, that's 50 damage, but doesn't do anything. Let me reload this one just because, I mean, yeah, this is just plain cheating, right? I will add it to the thumbnail that I reloaded. But basically, knowing that I won't be able to get any way to exit Wrath, I'm just not going to enter it. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but it does allow me... Well, it will allow me to at least perfect one extra turn. So Flurry Blue Sash, but that way I only have six incoming. And that way I can defend with the Just Lucky as well. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I was really hoping that out of the 14 cards I drew, one of them would be a defensive card, or one of them would allow me to exit Wrath like the Empty Body here, but that didn't happen. Let's get rid of the defend, do Third Eye, and then Inner Peace Zap. Empty Body is good. Let's do Inner Peace and Empty Body. Those are those two are good too. Mm -hmm. And then 10 incoming. Yeah, let's do Inner Peace, Empty Body, and then I can do Wallop and Bowling Bash. Okay. All right, now there's six. Uh, I think here I can do... Wait. I was trying to think, because if I enter Wrath and then apply a weakness, that'll be nine incoming, right? Um, and Third Eye is only seven. Let me see what the Miracle gives me. Uh, Ragnarok still. Okay, that's a bummer. I don't want to duplicate a Third Eye. That seems silly. All right, fine. Uh, let me do... Flurry of Blows first, then Eruption. Then Flurry of Blows again. Actually, I have to choose between... Oh, boy. I have to choose between Ragnarok or... Yeah, I can't do the Ragnarok now, even though it's 50 damage. All right, let's do Sash Whip. And then I'll duplicate the um, the third eye. And then next round, I won't get attacked, right? So let's keep the attacks here. So I won't, won't uh, get rid of anything. And then a regular strike. Okay. I think it's worth it because I have to deal damage at some point, right? So I have to start sooner rather than later. Let's get actually I'll keep the survivor for block and hopefully I'll be able to exit wrath next turn. I have at least one empty body Okay, yeah, okay good thing. I drew that let's do flurry of blows and then empty body I can do two more flurry of blows and then survivor and defend okay well, 74 damage to deal um, Let's do just lucky one empty body is fine. Just lucky two and then third eye. Let's get rid of these two and then strike and zap. Uh oh. Yeah, so now I have a big attack again, 24. Uh, so I can do inner piece, empty body. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. There's barely something I can do to fully defend. Uh, should I drink the energy potion to play the Ragnarok? I don't think I have to. Yeah, nothing. Even with the reload, I, there was no chance I was able to perfect this one. Just because if I don't enter Wrath early on, I'm, I'm having trouble dealing enough damage. Alright, at least I can do Wallop, Flurry of Blows, and Third Eye to be fully defended this turn. Okay, I still have so much damage to go through. Or so much HP to get through. 14, Flurry of Blows, Sash Whip is good. I should have considered doing the Bash first, but no, let me do Bowling Bash and Defend. Okay. All right, down to five HP, I think. Yeah, here I can kill once I enter Wrath. All right, that was a little rough. Uh, we got Blasphemy, Ragnarok, Establishment. I am considering, even though I didn't perfect the first boss, I am considering going for Popper. 
None of these are amazing. Blasphemy might help, but I think I'll go for Popper. All right, Calling Bell is pretty good. I can pick up a unique curse and three relics. I mean, these runs are always a little difficult to get. Certain future runs are difficult to get curses, but I'll try. So I got Curse of the Bell, as far as Vajra, Sage Combat with one strength. Ink Bottle, one of you play 10 cards, draw one card. And Gambling Ship at the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Yeah. All right, Bronze Automaton at the end. I have to really figure out how I'm going to survive that, because that looks like a tough fight. Um, I'm almost fully defended. I have the wall up here, so I think I'll get rid of everything other than V3. Th mm -hmm. And then I can do Flurry of Blows, Sash Whip, Wallop, and then Just Lucky. Survivor's fine next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 8. I can do Eruption, and it doesn't really do anything, right? I won't even be able to get through the block. So let's just do Survivor, and then I'll do Third Eye. Yeah, this looks a little better next turn. Okay. Actually, I could have done Eruption and exited around next the next turn. That might have been a good option, too. All right, let's do Bash, Just Lucky. Zap is fine. And then I'll do Third Eye. That way I only take... Wait, yeah, that way I only take one damage. This is fine. I could consider doing the Miracle, but no, I think I'll wait. All right, another 12. Let's do Flurry of Blows. And then Bowling Bash Strike. Let me see what the Miracle gives me. Sanctity is pretty good. Again, an eruption. Actually, I can do... No, no, I can't do eruption in her piece. I only have one energy. Flurry of Blows is fine. I guess I'll just do defend here. All right, right. I'm missing some strong damage engine, unfortunately. Because I can't enter a Wrath as easily as I'd like. Empty body is fine. Let's do strike and then third eye. And then I guess I'm drawing the empty body. Fine. All right, so yeah, this is why I might have considered taking the Ragnarok, actually. This, with Ragnarok, this fight would have been much easier. Just getting to that point. Yeah, here. Whew, okay, finally. All right, Consecrate, Fear No Evil, Perseverance. I think I'll take Fear No Evil just for the damage and the fact that it allows me to enter Calm. Wallop is... Actually, I don't need any of these. Let me get rid of all of them. Mm -hmm. Flurry Boost, Bowling Bash, Strike, and Zap. Okay. All right, and then here, let me see what the Miracle gives me. Windmill Strike, fine. I'll do Fear No Evil, Sash Whip, and you know what? Let me use the Windmill Strike. I think it'll take too long to become useful, so I might as well play it, especially since I had the energy. Um, I, again, I can't do the, um, I can't do Eruption. Let's do Bash, just Lucky. I'm gonna get, actually, it's fine, it's fine. Let's keep it, and I'll do Third Eye, and um, get rid of this one. Okay. I'm going to guarantee to draw a daze next turn, though. 14. All right, Bowling Bash and Just Lucky is just enough. Good. Okay. All right, Evaluate, Carviality, Consecrate. Carviality might be a good attack card. Let's take that. Centurion and Mystic. All right. Um, I'll keep... Actually, I don't need the Curse. I'll keep the Bash. I don't think I need Wallop. This is fine. All right, yeah, let's do Eruption. So I'll do, I think I'll do Inner Peace Eruption, then Bash, and I guess I could do Empty Body, but I think I'll risk not, not exiting Wrath. I already did that against the Hexaghost and sort of regretted it. Here I can do Carve Reality. This is enough to kill, right? Sash Whip is also enough to kill, all right? And then I can Smite the Backliner, good. All right. Hmm. 20 incoming. I can exit Wrath with the Fear No Evil. Wait, 24, 24. I can also just kill... Uh, without exiting Wrath. Awesome. Alright. Uh, here, Prostrate Flying Sleeves rush down. I didn't take a Flying Sleeves before, right? Let's take it now. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i complaining about damage, so... Uh, well, I'm going for Collector Bonuses. Yeah, fine. Let's take, let's take a bunch of Bites. Okay. Not that they're great, but they do give me uh, a Collector Bonus, and they allow me to be better defended. Uh, here, I think I can do... Wallop. Yeah, let's do... F oh, I should have done Wallop first. That was dumb. Yeah, I missed that on some block that way. Three block to be exact. Should have, done should have definitely done the Wallop first. That's okay. All right, let's do Bite. Then... I guess I should have done Bash first here too, right? Taking a little bit of uh, damage here. Just lucky defend... Actually, next turn I'm guaranteed to not be attacked. The Snake Plan only attacks every two turns. Or, um... Sorry, only attacks two turns in a row, and then the third turn is the RDD buffs. Okay. 
So here, let's do Flurry of Blows, Bite, and then unfortunately, I don't have good offensive cards. I do have the Eruption next turn, and then a Bite. Okay, I'm not going to play another card, because then I'll draw the Eruption. I'm going to consider drawing that. Actually, no, I should be able to kill here. Let's do Bite, and then Sash with 4 kill. Good. Okay, Alpha Tranquility or Worship. I mean, if I'm going for Collective Bonuses, getting Worship is not a bad idea, but no, let's take the Tranquility. Makes it a little easier to play the Eruption. And then next, I think I'll upgrade the Wallop. Let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I got the Gremlin Leader. Um, yeah, that, that's a problem, right? I don't have any AoE. Let's get rid of all of these. I need some better attack cards. Okay. I guess I can do Eruption and Bite. Kills one of them. Slightly increase the chance that the backliner won't attack me next turn. And the backliner is not attacking me next turn. Awesome. So I need... Yeah, let's do Carf Reality... Smite to kill you. And then Devotion is interesting. Let's do Devotion. I also I want to play the Fear No Evil. Or I'll just play another Devotion. Okay, fine. Should I be able to enter a Mantra quickly? Okay, this is great. Um, I can do just Lucky. Bowling Bash is fine. Kill you with the Bowling Bash. And then kill you with a Flurry of Blows. And then apply Weakness to the Backliner and do a Bite. Awesome. And then still not getting attacked. Okay, I'm getting very lucky with the attack patterns here. Let's just do Wallop. And then I'll keep the Flying Sleeves. I'll be in Divinity next turn. And that'll be, uh, what, 30 damage? No. Um, yeah, 30 damage. And then I can kill you with a Bite. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one got lucky with the attack pattern. So if the Gremlin Leader decided to attack a single time, I would have been done. Got Ron Scale, Sarge Con with three Thorns, as well as a Fire Potion. And Follow Up Battle Him would help me with damage. I don't think I need it that badly, though. Or I can take a third... You know what? Let's take a third third eye. Third third eye. All right. Sentries and Sphere Guardian. Let's start with... Actually, these are pretty decent attack cards. I don't think I need Wallop. The rest is fine. All right. So let's do Fear No Evil, Sash Whip, and Bite. Uh, yep. Okay. 19. I can double Bite... Uh, here, let me do Empty Body and Double Bite. Next turn I might be in trouble because I'll be uh, frail and I'll be getting 20. Yeah, so I can't defend very well. But let's do Just Lucky. Bowling Bash is probably not necessary here. I'll do Car Reality and then I guess I might as well play the defensive cards. This is fine. Yeah, I'm taking 11 damage there. Okay. And then Flurry of Blows, Just Lucky. Eruption is great. Let's draw that. Uh, actually, let me do Tranquility first, then play the Flurry of Blows, play the Eruption. Another Flurry of Blows, Smite, and then I can kill with Flying Sleeves. Good. Okay, Protective Allied Mental Fortress. I switch stances. Do I switch stances enough? I think I have to risk taking it. It's pre-upgraded too. Uh, we got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Very nice. And here I got the Centurion Mystic again. I am fully defended. I will keep the Mental Fortress. Don't need this or this, though. So let's do Mental Fortress. And then I'll do the Bites, mostly because I do want to heal back a little bit. You know what? No, I should do the Carf Reality as well. Let's do that. Okay. Mm. Not getting attacked here. Let's do Just Lucky. Third Eye might be good next turn because I'm guaranteed to be attacked. And then, you know what? Let me play the Smite and a Cut Through Fate. That's really good. I guess I'll have to draw. You know what? No, let's grab a Bite. That way I can heal a little bit. All right, this guy's attacking me. I do have double damage next turn, so I can just kill with the Bowling Bash, right? Let's do Eruption, Bowling Bash, Gloria Blows, Bite, and then next turn I have the Flying Sleeves. I'm not getting attacked here, so Sashweb. Actually, let's do Bite first, and then Flying Sleeves. Good. Okay, Empty Mind, Empty Fist, or Follow-Up. I think now I'll take an Empty Mind. Yeah, the extra card will be nice. I just need more ways to enter Calm, I think. Speaking of Calm, should I upgrade the Tranquility to make it a little cheaper? Because I do have a little bit of an energy problem. Yeah, let me play it safe. Right now I only have... Uh, well, I guess I have three ways to enter Calm, so it's not that little. Ooh, um, Preserved Insect. Anything lead combat to 25% less HP. That's really good. I should definitely take that. Do I need Dolly's Mirror? I only have one Collector Bonus. I would like to duplicate an upgraded card, but I don't have any Collector Bonuses on upgraded cards. 
Let me think about that for a second. A Mind Blast seems decent. Let's take the Mind Blast as well. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. So right now it'll be 28. And that also incentivizes me to take more cards. Um, which means, yes, yeah, so I think I'll take... Actually, let me take Evaluate, and then I will take one more Relic. Actually, I could take a Block Potion too. All right, fine. Let's take the Worship, drink the Fruit Juice, and then I'll, I'll take the Block Potion. Okay, I think that was the better decision. A Block Potion might allow me to perfect something... Um, I don't think none of the relics would. Oh, this is a question mark room elite fight, right? Okay. So my plus 31. That's not going to kill, but it gets me close. I, de I do need 19 block. Yeah, so I can do mind plus evaluate defense. So I'm not going to get rid of anything. That'll also make the mind plus worse. Scrawl. Yeah, that's not really good here. So actually another attack card might have allowed me to kill the backliner without worrying about things. Let's do... Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll do evaluate and then I'll do scrawl and I'll drink the energy potion. So let's do scrawl here. Okay, so I can kill with the Flurry of Blows. And then let's do the Energy Potion to do Fear No Evil, Empty Mind. Actually, Flurry of Blows first. And then I do have double damage, but I don't have any good attacks. Um, let's do Empty Mind. And then Flying Sleeves kills you. Okay. And then I can do Just Lucky, Bowling Bash is fine, and then a Bite. Okay, yeah, I think that was a good turn. I had to use a potion, but I think that was totally justified. Seven incoming here, Sash Whip, Just Lucky, and then Third Eye. Uh, let me get rid of everything, because I'm basically waiting for the, um, for one bite. That way I, oh, actually, never mind, the uh, Bronze, uh, Bronze Scales killed. We got Calipers at the start of your turn, lose 50 block rather than all of your block. That's fine. And then I think that's my collector bonus on Third Eye, sorry. Okay, Shell Press and Fungi Beast. 18 and coming here. Again, I think I'll rely on the Mind Blast. So let's just do Mind Blast. Power of Reality. See what this gives me. I think I can do Empty Body just to avoid taking too much damage. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, another 16. I can do Mental Fortress. Third Eye 1. This actually looks pretty good. I'll get rid of the Flurry of Blows and then Third Eye 2. Probably should have played them in reverse order, but that's fine. Okay. And then here I'll do Fear No Evil. That allows me to get my Flurry of Blows back. Uh, one of them was double damage. I sort of wasted that. And then, uh, unfortunately, I'm very close to being able to kill, but not quite. Uh, let me do Survivor then. Try to avoid taking too much damage. I can do it just lucky here. Okay. Alright, um, here I need 15 damage. Let's do Sash Whip. And then I think I'll do Wallop. Oh, wait, no, let me do Empty Body. That way I'll get energy back. I can kill with the Flurry of Blows and then I can do Wallop and kill. Good. Okay, we got a Flex Potion. Sands of Time is pretty good. Protect might help against the upcoming. You know what, let me take Protect just because I'm worried about the... I won't be able to kill on time, so I need some way to defend. I actually... Should I upgrade the Mind Blast? No, let's... Let's upgrade the Protect. Yeah, Mind Blast upgrade will allow me to play another card, but the Protect, the, the four block might make a difference. All right, get rid of the Flurry of Blows and these two. And these three, actually. That makes the Mind Blast weaker, but I think I need to, it's more important to defend or prepare for the next turn. So I'll do, actually with Wallop, I can hang on to some block. Let me do Wallop and then just Lucky. Sash up is fine. I'll do Bowling Bash and the next turn I do have double damage. Okay. All right, 14, uh, 10 income, or 10 block, I have 20 something. Let's do Sash Whip, and then Flurry of Blows. Inner Peace, Empty Body. Oh, actually, let us let me do two more Flurry of Blows, and then Empty Body. All right. Okay, um, wait, I needed uh, 22. I, yeah, have 22 with the Empty Body, good. I can do Just Lucky. Flying Sleeves is fine. Come. Okay. Right, Mental Fortress, I wouldn't mind getting that back. That would be nice to have. Eight incoming. I have enough with the third eye. Let's do Bite. Ooh, Worship is tempting. All right, let me play the Worship. Uh, Deceive Reality is pretty good too, but no, let's do Worship. Actually, Deceive Reality alone is not enough, right? So I have to play the third eye. And Tranquility is good. Uh, next turn, I might need to defend. So let's keep the... Actually, let's get rid of everything and hope I get a better defensive card. Right? Fear no evil. I would like that back as well. Oh boy. Alright, so I should do the eruption. 
Let's do that. Then I get the Flurry of Blows, and then I can exit Wrath with the Fear No Evil, and double damage allows me to kill one of the minions as well. All right. And then Mental Fortress. No, I have to do Empty Mind. Actually, hmm. Still need to defend against 20, huh? I do have a Block Potion, though. So let me do Empty Mind first, then. All right. And then there's no way I can defend against 20, right? The Protect is only 16. Unless, is there, no, no, there's nothing I can do. If I had played the Mental Fortress, I would have had enough. So I think I have to do the Block Potion. Wait, what What can I draw here? Third Eye. Third Eye was not going to be enough, right? Yeah, fine. So let's drink the Block Potion. And then do Mental Fortress. Defend Tranquility. I think that would work. Mental Fortress. Defend. And then Tranquility. All right. Let's get an Alpha. Too bad I can't play it this turn. Come. Okay. All right, and then here, let's just do the attacks. Bite one, bite two. I'll do third eye. I don't have a lot of hope. I mean, I do have a wallop coming up, but I don't have the energy to really support it. Mm. Yeah, this is the problem, right? So let's do Flurry of Blows. I mean, inner peace is not really going to give me anything. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to full defend. Let me see. Well, Protect is actually more blocked than the wallop. So yeah, I think the best I can do is protect third eye. Uh, I don't think I need a zap, so I'm okay drawing it. Yeah, I, I don't really think I stood a chance to perfect this one. I need it much more. I just didn't have it. All right, my plus is not that great, but I think... Oh, it's too energy. I don't think I'll play it. Let's do carve reality instead. Fear no evil and a bite. Come. Okay. I'm not even to half HP, so I still have a way to go. Let's do... I don't even think I, I need to do bash. Well, let's still do bash, then do empty body. All right, Flurry of Blows, just lucky. Deceive Reality is great. And then do Bite, and I'll do Empty Body to try to defend a little bit more. Hmm. So let's do... Should I do Alpha here? That might save me. Do I have a way to exit Wrath? I have Empty Mind only. It's a little dangerous, but I think I'll risk it. Let's do Eruption. Actually, I can do Worship, right? Yeah, fine, let's do Worship. It gives me energy back. Flurry of Blows, um, Smite... Flying Sleeves, and then a double damage. I hope I'll be able to kill external. I won't be in Divinity anymore, right? So let me do, in that case, let's do Indignation, and then hope that next turn I draw something that allows me to kill. 29, yeah, that seems doable. Okay, wasn't able to perfect this one, but at least I survived. We got a Speed Potion, Omniscience is tempting, but no, I think I'll go for Popper. And then Curse Key, I mean, I only have one Curse so far, right? But... I think I have to take it. Also, the extra energy is nice. So gain energy at the start of your turn. One of you open a non-boss chest to obtain a curse. The Black Star wouldn't be that useful because at most I would have gotten two elites. So it basically just gives me two extra relics, which I don't think would be enough. All right, early um, early elite and then three question mark rooms as always. So mind plus is good. Yeah, I think I'll keep everything to keep the mind plus strong. So let's do mind plus and then I'll do fear no evil. Okay, uh, let me see what the Miracle gives me. Um, I can't do the Signature move. Let's do Survivor, and then Third Eye. This looks fine. Okay. Alright. I do have to worry about the Exploder at some point, too. Uh, let's do Mental Fortress, Inner Peace, Just Lucky, Sashup is fine, and then Third Eye. Uh, this looks mostly fine. Bowling Bash is good. That should kill the Exploder next turn, right? Actually, I should have played the other card. Actually, no, it wouldn't have made a difference. I was trying to trigger the Palapers, but that probably wouldn't have happened anyway. Let's do Bowling Bash. And then Sash Whip will deal damage back to me. Let me do Empty Body first. Then do Sash Whip. All right. And then I'll do another Empty Body. Flying Sleeves. Uh, bite heals me. Oh, actually, it healed me before. All right. So when I played the Bite, I took damage first, and then I got healed. And then Wallop does a lot of damage. And then let me see if I can draw another attack card. I could not. Actually, I'll keep the bite. I feel like I should be able to kill that way. Hmm. I can do Protect and then Eruption for a kill. Good. All right. Cut through Fate, Summoning Fury, Flurry of Blows. I th I'm tempted to take a third Flurry of Blows, although, although a Cut through Fate would have been good. Don't know deck at the end. Let's take the uh, Flurry of Blows. I think Collective Bonuses are my only hope at this point. Uh, yeah, definitely want to fight for a rare relic here. 
Okay, my blast is fine, I think. Yeah, I think I'll save everything here again to keep the mind blast strong. Let's do mind blast and then wallop is pretty good. I can do flurry of blows and let me. I'm fully defended. Let's do a car reality after all. Or a deceive reality. That might be a little better. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's 26. Uh, let's do bowling bash for sure. Empty body, evaluate, and I'll do safety here. Oh, I should have done the consecrate. No reason not to. Okay, 42. That's a lot. Uh, let's do two bites to kill you. And then I'll do inner piece, flurry of blows, empty body, flurry of blows again. And then double damage bite. I should have probably done double damage flying sleeves, but fine. Hmm. 19, mental fortress, third eye. Get rid of this. Rest is fine. Not super happy with how much damage I'm taking. Actually, all right, fine. It's only three. I can deal with that. And then 27. Wow. All right. Get rid of the burn. Do insight. Third eye gives me some good attacks. Just need to get to them. At least I can fill the defend here. I should have gotten rid of the flurry blows. There's no reason to keep it. All right. So let's do flurry blows eruption. And then kill with the flurry of blows. Good. Okay, we got peace belt. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites, as well as another fire potion, which I don't think I'll take. And weave. I don't. Well, I scry a little bit. Yeah, sure. Let's take it, especially since I don't have any copies of the other cards. All right, darklings. Let's get rid of. Um, well, bowling bash does a lot of damage. Everybody's attacking me. Let me get rid of these two, mostly because I'm hoping to get some block cards. I did not. Fine. Let's do bowling bash. Um, Actually, I do have double damage. Let me kill one of them with the double damage bowling bash. So let's do fear no evil and double damage bowling bash. Okay, fine. I guess that was not enough. This is enough, though. And then carve reality and uh, bite, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Nine damage total there. I think I can do eruption, right? Yeah, let's do eruption. Then blurry blows is not enough. So let me do sash whip smite. Flurry of Blows, and then um, a Bash for a Kill. Good, right. I did have enough after all. We got a Fear Potion. I'll probably take it over the Flex Potion. I think I might be a little better. Follow up, Third Eye, Evaluate. Let's take... I already have enough Third Eyes, right? Yeah, I have a Collector Bonus on those already. So let's take the uh, Second Evaluate. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of gold here. So let's take another Just Lucky, another Sash Whip. I already have, as I mentioned, too many Third Eyes. Let's take Tranquility, and because... It's very likely I might not get another shot. Let me actually take the study. That might be good too. Might allow me to get the combo modifier. Okay. All right, got the spire growth. Double damage coming up very soon. Actually, with double damage and wrath, I should be able to get the overkill modifier as well, right? Let me see if I can draw some way to enter wrath. I cannot. That's fine. So let's do Floria blows and then 78 damage only. I guess I'll do third eye to be fully defended. Next turn, I have wall up in case I get attacked and then a bite. Okay. I have to start using my bites because I would like to heal back up a little bit. Let's do wallop. Uh, just lucky. Tranquility is fine. And then I'll do a bite and flying sleeves. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Here I'll do uh, body. Uh, what? Wait. I said I just said body. Bash. That's what I meant. Um, I, I was looking at the empty body. Uh, let's do evaluate and then bite. Okay. I only need 17 with vulnerability. That should be very easy. Good. All right. Foreign influence, crush joint, or halt. Don't have any of these. Crush joints might be good, but let's take the foreign influence to apply. Uh, and, and I think I'll upgrade it here too. That might give me some pretty amazing card. And I should probably at this point upgrade the mind blast. It is getting pretty powerful at this point. All right. Nemesis. Actually, I think I'm going to get the overkill modifier. Um... Yeah, by just throwing the Fear Potion. Yeah, too bad I can't do Eruption here. Yeah, that also allows me... Well, I got Overkill, and then I can also kill here. And that way I don't I don't risk entering next turn. We got ent Eternal Feather for every 5 cards in your deck. Kill 3 HP when we enter a rest site. As well as a Stance Potion. And, okay, so I have two Sash Whips, I think, right? I didn't pick up a Weave, and I didn't pick up Crescendo. As, as much as I like Crescendo because it exhausts and will trigger the Dead Branch, I think I'll have to take Sash Whip. I am really not using Dead Branch as often in this fight as I usually do. Uh, let me upgrade the Mind Blast here. Okay. 
Nice. Right, so already I got overkill, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. We've got a regret as well. Strike damage cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Not very useful. I don't think I have a single strike card, actually. All right. Uh, get rid of this. And then here, actually, yeah, I can do Eruption Mind Blast. Yeah, with Vulnerability would have also been able to get extra, uh, what do you call it, get the Overkill modifier. Ooh, 50 incoming here, that's not good. Let's do Sash Whip Wallop, then Foreign Influence uh, to give me, I guess, a follow-up for free? Sure. All right, uh, let me see what the Miracle gives me. Consecrate, Carve Reality. I am going to take a little bit of damage here. I could use a... Um, trying to think. I could use a Sands Potion. Fine, you know what? There's no reason to hang on to it. That way, I'll, I won't i will take any damage, yeah. Okay. And then here, I can do Weave, Just Lucky. Defend is probably not necessary. Another... Actually, let's play the Weave. Another Just Lucky. Tranquility is good. And then... I don't think I want to use the double damage on the... Weave, but fine. Let's do Fear No Evil. Flurry of Blows. Weave again. Bite. Inner Peace. And then one more Flurry of Blows. I should have counted cards. That felt like a lot of cards. But I don't think that was enough. So let's do Flying Sleeves. And I feel like I should be able to kill next turn. Alright. 16. Bite. Just Lucky. That's actually not enough, right? So then I have to... Oh, never mind. The Weave does allow me to kill. Thanks to the Orb. Okay. Alright. Flurry of Blows. Number 4, right? Yes, yes, let's get the collector bonus for that. Okay. And then here, I didn't get an elite, but I I don't want to lose... I can lose a collector bonus with either Third Eye or Flurry of Blows. I was going to use Study to get combo, but let's get rid of the, the Study because it might not be easy to get combo. Although, again, yeah, in this fight, I could have gotten combo thanks to the repulses, but fine, fine. Let's keep all of these. I'll kill or I'll bring this guy close to death with the Mind Blast. Actually, here, let's do Just Lucky first. Then I can kill the Spike with the Mind Blast. Double damage, my bless, I mean. And then do evaluate. I don't well, let's do empty mind. Should I do eruption? Let's do Florio Blows Eruption. And then Florio Blows. You know what? I'm not even gonna play the miracle because the enemy will die on my thorns, and I should be able to heal back up with the bites. Alright, no one is attacking me here. Let's do carve reality. Just lucky there's a bite. And then another. Uh here, let me do miracle. Get the bite. Okay. To consecrate and then can I get another bite? There it is. Good. All right, we got a fear in the bottle, which might not be a bad idea actually. Evaluate sash whip or empty fist. Uh, did I have enough sash whips already? No, I need one more. What about evaluates? That would no, I only have two evaluates. All right, let's get a collector bonus and sash whip. Okay, rising math would only give me my third curse, so obviously not enough. Um, let's get rid of these two. Okay, let's do mind blast. Double damage. 15, alright. And then 10 incoming. I think I'm okay with 10 because I can fill it. Well, actually, I have car reality too. 15. Let's do smite. 10. Yeah, 10 is good. Let's keep 10. Okay. 22. I think I'll try to defend here. So let's do worship. Protect. And then I'll do miracle evaluate. Okay. Alright, there's a curse coming up, which I would like to avoid, so let's do Just Lucky, Defend is fine, Windmill Strike, and then I'll do Wallop, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, I am taking a beating here, that's fine, rather do that than have the curse, oh, although on the other hand, if I get the curse, I'll get to 49 cards, yeah, fine, let's do Mental Fortress Inner Peace, Flurry of Blows, 32 is definitely not something I'd like, and then, uh, great, now I'm getting a curse after all. All right, fine, I guess I can't complain. Get rid of this, that way I'll get the curse this turn, and then I'll have to worry about it next turn. Fine, so I did get the curse after all. Can I kill here? If I do eruption, then bite, um, and then double damage, flurry blows kills, good. Okay, just lucky worship or perseverance. How many just luckies do I have? Oh, three, okay, awesome. So that gives me another collector bonus. All right, so I'm up to 50 cards, which means, okay, I actually got another card here. Giant Head. I will need a little bit of block, so let me hope to draw a defensive card. Let's get rid of D3. Alright, Wallop works. Uh, let's do Might Blast, Sash Whip, and then... Actually, I don't even need Wallop now. Yeah, in that case, let's just do... Actually, fine. It does deal a lot of damage. Let's just play it. Another 9. Uh-oh. 
Um, my hope is to draw something. Let's see what the miracle gives me. Worship. I mean, didn't I just discard one? No, I didn't. Okay. So let's do... Let's do... I need to play three cards, right? Let's do Bash. Flurry of Blows, just lucky. See what I draw? Sasha was not going to be enough. Let's get rid of that. Alright, well, I needed a block card. I didn't get a block card, so there's no way to perfect this one. Yeah, even if I... Wait, yeah. Even if I had played the Speed Potion, that would not have been enough. So, unfortunately, I'm taking damage here. That is fine. Foreign Influence gives me Riddle with Holes. Doesn't really work without any extra strength. But fine, let's take it. I have one extra strength, I guess. So, let's just play everything here. Yeah, I have energy to play everything, right? So, let's do Flurry of Blows. Double damage. Oh, actually, that's 40 damage. That's not too bad. All right. Actually, 80 damage, thanks to the um, vulnerability. And Fear No Evil and Bowling Bash. Actually, that was, that was a pretty good turn. I could even do Tranquility to get only one... No, two Flurry of Blows back. No, let's do it another turn. All right, still not getting attacked. Let's do Zap, Evaluate, Evaluate, and then Bite. Okay. If I get another way to enter Wrath, I could try to do something with the Flurry of Blows. Um, here, let's do Sash Whip first. Then Third Eye. Worship. That would allow me to enter Divinity. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then I'll do Weave, Bite, and let me do Empty Body. Okay. So I'm already not perfecting, so I'll take damage here, but let me see if I can get Overkill here. So let's start with Worship. Should I do Tranquility first? No, let's do Worship first. All right, do the Flurry of Blows. Oh, I will kill this way. I did not consider that. Let me see what this gives me. Yeah, fine, fine. All right, fine, let's kill. Okay, we got Kunai. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. And I don't want to give up on my Pauper here. Consecrate is probably fine against the Unknown Deca. All right, and then because I already have 51, I think I can remove uh, one of the curses. So either the Regret or the Parasite. Let's remove the Regret. Okay, so I end up with exactly 50 cards. Hmm. All right, um... I will need block if I have any hope to perfect this one, right? So let's get rid of all three of these. I will keep the Mind Blast, though. I did not get a single point of block. Let's see what the Miracle gives me. Well, I mean, Scrawl might help. Let's do Mind Blast, then do Scrawl. Or should I do... Let's do Sash Whip first, then do Scrawl. All right, well, at least I got two uh, Just Luckies. Yeah, fine. So if I drink the speed potion... Actually, no. Let's do one just lucky, two... Yeah. Wait. Two plus... Yeah, yeah. So let's do one just lucky. Yeah, flying sleeves. Let me get rid of that. And, okay. I did get survivor, so I don't need to play the speed potion just yet. So let's do another sash whip. And then I'll do the survivor. Which is unfortunate because I'm not setting up any of my good attacks. Let me get rid of bites again because I might as well... Or might need more block next turn. I do have 16 with the protect. 26. Okay, yeah, this is much better. Let's do Flurry of Blows. Evaluate. Um, a second evaluate. Actually, can I do Evaluate 18 plus 8? Yeah, that's 26. Third Eye, so I can keep the uh, Protect for next turn. Also, we'll try to play the Worship if I can. Let me do this. And I'll do Weave and Bite. Okay. 26 again. Yeah, Worship might be difficult. Actually, wait. Let me see if I can get another Block card. I can do Indignation, but then, hang on. So I have Defend and Protect, that's 25. But I have to play another Insight. Um, well, this might be a problem. I didn't play the Mental Fortress, right? So I might have to use the Speed Potion here. Let's do Indignation, then Flurry of Blows, Consecrate, double damage, that's good. And then I can do Bowling Bash. Uh, wait. No, I can't do Bowling Bash. Let's do Tranquility. All right, Flurry of Blows, then the Foreign Influence. It has to be a zero-cost card, so Flash of Steel is great. Ah, oh boy. So, let's see. If I do the Speed Potion, then the Protect would be enough, actually. So let's do the Speed Potion, play the Protect. No, it's not enough. I miscalculated. That's fine. All right, I have to do the Defend here as well. Which is a bummer, because I would like to really play some other card that allows me to perfect next turns, but... Fine. 32 incoming. At least I can get energy back with the empty body. Do the Flurry of Blows. Just lucky gain dex that way. Okay. And then I'll do Weave. And, oh wait, empty body. And I need to... Oh, well, I might as well play both of them. I have the energy. Okay. Alright. 
32 again for an influence gives me cleave twin strike or consecrate i guess i'll take cleave sure then do you're no evil lady flurry of blows gain dex that way wasted double damage though i can weaken Decca, bring it down to 24 then draw cards with empty mind but then reshuffle let's do cleave for free first gain extra dex that way too and then actually i have i have enough blocks so i don't need to play the empty mind it's not gonna hurt let's do empty mind gives me energy back that way too now i can defend with the wallop wait 13 plus 15 yeah that is enough and then i can do third eye so get rid of this i will keep the fear no evil get rid of these two though actually just lucky is fine too all right this is close i'm actually close to being able to kill dono i have a fire potion as well so if i do fear no evil flurry of blows and then do I want double damage consecrate? Yeah, let's do double damage consecrate. That's still not enough though, right? Unfortunately, that is not enough. Let's do empty body. Actually, I can fully defend with the empty body. Now it's actually enough with the fire potion. Okay. All right, let's do empty body too. That way I'm fully defended next... Or not fully defended, but I have some block next turn as well. Uh, yeah, let's do eruption. Play the flurry of blows. Actually, I should have done bash first. No, no, I won't have energy to defend if I do bash first. Sash whip. Then inner peace, flurry of blows again, and then third eye. All right, actually I'll get her over all three. The kunai is really helping me here. I think without it I would be in trouble. I also missed the forty-five minute mark, which is fine. Bite, just lucky, double damage. So it's a little bit of a waste there. Let's draw that card for reality. All right, play that, and then zap. And should I do smite? Uh, no, no. Let's do this. This way I have block next turn as well. Okay. Here I can do finally a mental fortress. Wait, I need 38. So survivor is enough. Let's do mental fortress. Actually, let's do empty body. Lady Flurry of Blows. Then do a smite, see what I get. Foresight. I mean, sure. And then I'll do worship as well. And Flurry of Blows too. Good. Mm -hmm. Um, this is fine, actually. I'll keep all of them. Flash of Steel, Bite 1. Actually, I don't need the Bites. Let's do Cleave. And then Double Damage Flying Sleeve. Sure. Another Bite. Actually, I'm very close to being able to kill. The Jungulity would have killed because I would have gotten the Flurry of Blows back. I, I guess I can do my Blast. It's not that much damage, but it will help a little. Actually, it's only 11. Hang on. Uh, let's do Just Lucky. Sash Whip is fine. Then uh, I didn't have a Weave, so Mind Blast, Tranquility. Okay, this is enough. Phew. All right. Wasn't able to get Combo, but... Um, yeah, only able to perfect one of the bosses. Yeah, 1132. That is not going to give me a very high score. So out of the five elites, I perfected Fur, which is not bad, but only the last boss. I did get overkilled. That was fairly easy. Went for Popper. Got five collector bonuses. Oh, I, I thought I only had four. So I have the Bites. Flurry of Blows. Just Luckies. So I got very lucky with the end, uh, with the Just Luckies at the end. Sash Whip and Third Eye. All right, that's not too bad. And Sigabedian was fairly doable. I don't think... Yeah, Curses was definitely not possible. But obviously, perfecting the other two bosses would have given me another 100... Uh, 50 points, so 1282 would have been possible. Actually, that's probably exactly what Warpal did as well. So congratulations on perfecting everything. I assume Monkey Bone was able to do that as well, but maybe missed an elite here and there. So really good scores, both of them. I just didn't have any chance against the Act 1 and Act 2 bosses. Um, I think I probably just... I don't, I don't know what, what exactly I could have done differently. I'm 29th right now, 25 points below, or I guess, wait, no, that's... Hang on. That's only 22 points below George. That's interesting. So in a certain future run, uh, yeah, I am 25 points above Pelts, though. So in a certain future run, you'd expect everybody to be 25 points apart, but George having a non-multiple of 25 points more, uh, 25 more points than me does indicate different RNG, I'm thinking. This is interesting. Um, yeah, so, and then I guess the fact that there are some scores that are not, uh, you know, that are too less. Yeah, yeah, I wonder I wonder what... Actually, I guess whenever you have foreign influence, that does change the RNG, right? So if you have foreign influence, it will change the RNG, which makes it a little harder to be consistent. But I do wonder if different RNG might have caused a drastically different game. Maybe Curses was possible or something. Let me know in the comments if you had you know, different events that allowed you to get a different set of scores, uh, a different set of points. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.